asked my mother one time I want to take a shower and she said she refused because she told me that when you go to bring the water from the spring you can take a shower there and I feel shame in front of the people to take a shower even when I was a child but it's happened with everybody and I saw it's normal and I stay take shower there because we don't want just to bring the water outside now uh, for that we can live without nothing but we can also uh, discover the alternative for our life because our life, the difficulties, all the things that happen. My name is uh, Naji Oda. I'm uh, uh, originally from uh, Deraban. This is a mo small village occupied during 1948. Uh, uh, I born inside the camp. I have a family, two boys, two girls, and with my wife, of course. We are six, including myself. Uh, I am 50 years old and uh, still I'm still living in the camp. My hope to return back to my place in 48. Uh, I'm my job, it's a director in Phoenix Center and uh, I make a lot of volunteers work because I'm a member of the popular committee service inside the camp dealing with uh, all the social things inside the camp and a little bit uh, some politic issues too. This camp is uh, one of the camp in uh, all West Bank established in 1948. After the Israelis occupied our land uh, during 48 the war, uh, the people they are living in this camp they came from 46 villages, demolished and occupied during 48. Uh, all these villages is around Jerusalem because from here to Jerusalem it's just maybe five feet uh, like 50 uh, minutes only and uh, people they come here to live uh, because they don't have money they don't have nothing they keep everything there and people they you know start looking for each other and find the, the area they choose the area that they can live together because they know each other before now Deshe camp is the biggest in uh, biggest camp in uh, in South Palestine between three ca between five camps and uh, Deshe camp uh, now uh, the population live inside inside there are 13000 uh, people uh, from uh, 46 villages like what what I said now the thing that uh, people they accept each other because in the same situation the same uh, level in economic situation, now they are refugee all and they can understand each other and support each other. Uh, now it's going 62 years now and people live in exactly the same condition uh, with now with water but we are suffering for water uh, with electricity also we are suffering during summer we don't have enough water during the winter we don't have electricity and for that what you need they uh, don't give you anything to to manage yourself. Uh, in Deja Camp, they are, they, there is a clinic by United Nations and the clinic for also one doctor. Uh, doctor, he's a professional. He can check 50 person in one time. Uh, only one doctor starts from 8 o'clock till 2 o'clock uh, by Norwa and they have a medicine, they give a medicine. Uh, for education, the same, we have schools two schools, uh, before it was a tent, of course, and the people, they study in the tent. In, uh, during th uh, 1949, 15th, the people, in uh, 50s, the people, they, uh, you know why they build the schools for girls and for boys, and people, they continue education because to continue our life like a refugee, we have to continue our education. Now, this is what we believe and this is what our parents also believe after we lose everything i mean the land we 
uh, we are not uh, farmers like our parents because no land now they start looking for uh, to 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 find another way to continue our life for that they pushing us to continue our education for that uh, the, uh, after research with one uh, writers uh, he discovered uh, by the research that the Palestinian in the Asia camp educate more than uh, people in East Jerusalem. It means that the people they are uh, looking for the education and to graduate and to continue their science. Uh, we have a lot of engineers, a lot of doctors, a lot of uh, teachers, a lot of uh, social workers, psychologists in the camp. You can find everybody. But in the same time, people they graduate after that, they're waiting to have a job uh, now. Uh, it's a few people that just they can find a job uh, in uh, in Palestine. Uh, now this is the situation in general inside the camp. We have water system now. Uh, we are lucky. We have uh, also electric, electric system also inside the camp. But like you saw, you are here now, you can see some people that don't have water since three months. And during the winter, Every day we don't have water because the water control by the Israeli security and by Israeli occupation. They don't give enough water for the Palestinian territories. But at the same time, you can find in Frat colony, close with the camp, you can find in the colony in, in general 24 hours fresh water. They don't have to put water tank on their floor, but you know, the Palestinians, they have some of them 10 or 20 water tank just to protect the water and to use it during the, uh, when, when they don't have enough uh, water. Now, we built this center, uh, the same meaning what we explained before that, to open more space for the children to benefit by our activities. We can make like a lot of activities like what you, you see, like theater, painting, uh, a lot of things. We make summer camp, we make workshop, uh, we open it for people that they can educate more, like what we educate also before. This is our story and we never can forget our story to build a new generation, just uh, what we said, to keep their mind open and to understand more things fast, not only the school. The school, they, 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 they learn many things for academic way. Now we uh, start to teach them in uh, economic way, in situation, in politics, and uh, all the social things inside the camp. Now for that, you can see uh, during summer they came to the center between 8 and 1,000 every day. Like people just come for different things, for training, for all the things. Now for that, what I said, the phoenix, it's a phoenix. It's just, you know, the, the blood of the phoenix to continue the life, not the, the, the ash and the fire, the people they coming every day. You know, they refresh every day, not when they became old like the parent. Every day they have a new blood, they have a new generation that they come and put more energy to El Phoenix. And the Phoenix, it's not a building, it's our movement inside the building. This is the idea. Now, it's very important to make these things because I'm sure that People, they go to training many years ago, three, four years ago in Phoenix, at the Phoenix Center. Now they are leaders in our community. Now, when you saw them that they organize everything, they, they have a full responsibility. Now you feel, if you feel tired in your body, but you feel fresh in your mind, like Phoenix. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm the Asia camp, I yeah I saw the big difference. I will explain it why. And I, you know, in the in the story of the camp, that people, the first group, they was fighting and struggling uh, before '67. Now during '67, they are get arrested by the Israelis, Israeli occupation in West Bank, and uh, they judged uh, two years, uh, three years, something like that. Now those people in the Asia camp, they were. Um, part of them, a few people, they were Fatah, but they are, I mean, 
the first level of Fatah and they believed the revolution and all the things. And uh, there were a lot of uh, communists uh, from the Communist Party also, they released. And they have a lot of experience, all of them, uh, during the Jordanian. Uh, and they have also a lot of experience, uh, even uh, they have a lot of ideas, they read a lot of things about the revolution over the world. And uh, there were a lot of also Marxists from the left political parties that they released, uh, they released today and next day they start make some activities, they start visiting the people, even when the people they were afraid to meet uh, those people. I remember that if uh, someone of them they will ask to marry for girl, and her parents they refuse because they were afraid. Now, step by step they start to understand that those people they are very kind and they make a lot of a strong war and the, the crazy thing is that they don't have, they never ask for money or something like that because they are working hard. They make a lot of volunteers work. They give me like the second generation. I am just follow them immediately uh, because part of them is still alive and they, you know, they give good example for me that how to don't keep anything in your mind. If you have something in your mind, you have to give it to the others. If you have little energy, you have to give to others. If you believe something, you have to give the others. Now, now I like this idea. I like this opinion. I like this way. Now, for that, I start just follow them, me and the others, of course, till they teach us good lessons how to make something in the ground, on the ground, to how to open the street, how to help the old people, the poor people, all the things. Now we start follow them, and this movement is starting growing very fast and very strong too. Now, they can organize during one year a lot of people around them, but the people, they, which kind of uh, ideology they have? They are not Muslim, they are not uh, exactly communist, because they explain some time, you know, to organize more, uh, they are more diplomatic, diplomatic with the others. Now, immediately they are smiling and the people, they accept them. Those people, they are fighting and struggle, and they give everything what they have. The movement is started growing up, and they they build something on the ground that many people they start want to make the same. Now after that, they feel quiet and they start only organizing all the group, all the stuff that they follow them, and make a lot of things. People they appreciate it so much. Now we discover after that they have ideology and all the things. The Marxist, what it is mean. The communists and all the things, we start following them. And I think, I'm sure, they were organizing very well and more strong. Even people, they arrested several times during the 70, uh, 17th and 71, 72, and the people they released continue working the, inside the camp. Who's those people? They are heroes, you know? Several times get arrested and released and continue their work. We want to do the same. Now, it was, this is a decision with all. Now, of course, we follow them. And after that, you can see the, the strong movement, political and social movement, start built inside the camp. And the camp, it became like dangerous for the occupation. When they, when you just try, or just to come to the main street, it, it was war. And many times, the settlers, they decide to broke the strong in the camp. With this movement, before the first intifada, now, the camp, they present, yeah, we present, because I'm from the camp, we present ourselves that the stronger camp in all Palestine. Now, we starting like that till the, you know, the beginning of the first intifada and people, they continue us. Now, for the, for the first stuff, they just looking for that and make some meeting, but they still in charge with our political and social movement. The political part is growing up very strong too. It was organized also very well because I think my generation, we learn a lot about the first generation and also we learn a lot about uh, what's happening in all the revolution and over the world. The Israelis, they will never give nothing for the Palestinian because in just one sentence, the Israelis ask religion state, Jewish state, it's mean for the Christian, for the Muslims, for the people without religion, for the Marxists, they don't have to be in this state. It's for only for Jewish. 
Now for that, they will never give nothing. Now, they occupied our land, and this is the uh, people all the time speaking in the street till now, even when they support Oslo Agreement, because many people, they waiting for the salaries from the Palestinian Nationality, and finally, okay, they have a children and they're looking for salaries. If they against Oslo Agreement now, they will be outside and no salaries and etc. This is our economic situation, very, very, yani, very bad. Uh, now, of course, after Oslo, the political parties, they became weak. The left parties, they became weak. Fatih movement, they became weak, more because it, it, it's mixed with the Palestinian Authority. And part of the political parties, the left political parties, also, they are mixed by authority and start benefits by political parties. I don't think that the political parties are so strong to present themselves even completely and PLO, I think, in my point of view, the, 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 the program of PLO, Palestinian Liberation Organization, destroyed completely. They are more weak and what we can do, a lot of things, but out of the political parties now. I think, in uh, stacking in my mind, two moustaches, you know, no, three. The first, it was Frederick Engels. The second one, it was Trotsky. The third one, Naji. <laughs> 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 Welcome.